my name is Amica George and I'm an 18 year old student from North London. I've started a campaign called Hashtag Free Periods which is asking the government to give free menstrual products to all children on free school meals. I think it's so important that we start talking about our periods and women's health in general. I think it's ridiculous that we all go through periods every month and there's something that every girl has to deal with and yet we still can't talk about them openly so I really want to start encouraging young girls to break that taboo and just talk to their friends, their family, their brothers, their dads, whoever, just to get that conversation started. I think that there's a real problem surrounding the issue in that it's a very it's a common issue yet a lot of people wouldn't know about it. I don't think there's nearly enough research and awareness that's been raised about it so that's why I think it's so important that this campaign is really directly addressing that in a really accessible and really fun way that I think is going to really make change in terms of opening up that conversation and getting people to just be aware even if it's not affecting them directly. I think gynaecological cancers and ca cancers generally is something that are so present in all of our lives now sadly and yet people don't know enough about them so that needs to change. When I was younger I think I had very limited education around my period and gynaecological issues in general. Talking to my friends at secondary school I think they probably had slightly more than me but it was still kind of very minimal. My education around menstruation kind of was my teacher saying in year six if anyone starts their period there are pads in the teacher's toilet that you can help yourselves to and at that point I didn't even know what a period was so it was all kind of down to my mum to tell me which I think definitely needs to change I think that not everyone maybe has that relationship with their mum where they can be taught and not everyone has that easy um, access so I think it needs to come from the education system itself and then when I got to secondary school again I wasn't really told much about smear tests or um, not that much about sex or contraception I think that periods in general were an issue that were talked about but I think that's also because I went to a girls school and so we were generally more open than it would have been in a mixed school maybe. But in terms of the taboo I think that the school, at schools and education system in general do have a part to play in that. My te I remember my teacher teaching us that you should slip a tampon up your sleeve when you go to the toilet. That was what was normal and that was what was taught to girls and I think that's something that's changing now because we are a lot more open about our periods but um, like I said, it does need to be systemic and come from the curriculum. I really want to get lippy about my period and I want all girls and boys, I want everyone to start talking about periods in general. I think it's really important that boys and men are involved in the conversation. Even if they don't menstruate, I think they do need to be aware of what women and girls go through every month. The other reason I think it's really important is because we have this huge issue of period poverty in the UK, where girls are missing school for a week every month just because they can't afford sanitary products. And there's a real issue in that we only have 30% of MPs are female. So the other 70% who are male are completely reluctant to talk about periods so they'll never solve the issue of period poverty unless they overcome that. I heard about one male MP refusing to say the word tampon in Parliament and I think it's issues like that that really need to be overcome in order to actually change things.